Hello class, welcome back to my next Denizen scripting tutorial. Today we are covering interact scripts. What are interact scripts? Well, they are pretty much files that are going to bring your NPCs to life. That's right, you are only going to be able to use this if you are running the Citizens plugin as well. Uh, if you do not have Citizens, this tutorial will be entirely useless to you as they do not serve any other purpose but to make in, uh, NPCs interactable. So, before we get started, if you haven't already joined my Discord channel, link will be in the description below. Lots of cool showcases, uh, a lot of community questions going on in there. Got some script writers as well in there, so uh, usually we'll have questions that will get answered fairly quickly. A lot of pretty cool stuff going on in there, giveaways, uh, yeah, just a whole bunch of pretty cool stuff. So. If you haven't already joined, make sure to do so. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so as always, the first thing we need to do is uh, type out a new file for our script. So that's the wrong thing. Okay, so we're in our scripts and we are going to type or go to new text document and we're gonna type in uh, first interact. Okay, make sure that's a .yml file. We're gonna save and we are going to open it up. Now, the one thing we need to do, which um, is different to every other script, is we need to make a script which is known as an assignment. This is pretty much gonna be telling our NPC what they're going to be doing. So first we're gonna, uh, we're gonna type in first interact assignment. Okay. Next, we need to specify the type, which is going to be interact. And now here we need to um, add a new thing that we don't usually do, which is going to be called interact scripts. And then below that, we need to put a dash. Uh, I'm, only, I'm only planning to put one, but there is a hierarchy for this, and I will explain that in just a moment. But for now, just copy what I have here, dash space zero space uh, first interaction and this is what we're going to call our interact script you guys see that over there that's that's different okay so uh oh wow what, what is going on here <laughs> i think my computer is struggling a little bit okay so now that we got that going on uh, i can explain the hierarchy to you so basically the bigger the number the higher priority your interact script is going to have so if we had like second uh, interaction, this one would take priority over this one, no matter where we have it in the file. So um, it's pretty much, it's not really useful for much unless you're playing around with a lot of if uh, conditions or you have specific flags set up. I guess it can be useful for organizing your file, but it's really not necessary. So. Um, with that, we are just going to delete that, and we're going to start our script here. So first, we are going to copy and paste this, and we are going to go down, and we're going to paste it. We're going to define the type, so type interact. Uh, one thing I just noticed, which we need to fix, we need to switch this interact to assignment. There we go, because this is an assignment script as we specified here. So, now that we got that fixed, uh, one thing we need to do, we're going to go ahead and save, and we're going to make an NPC. We need to have an NPC, because otherwise, well, we can't do anything with this. So, we're going to make an NPC. I'm going to type in NPC create mushroom status. Look at that handsome gentleman in that well-polished lab coat. Okay, so, we're going to do another thing. Uh, NPC look close. There we go. That makes him a little bit more, you know, alive. Okay, so now that we've got that covered, we're going to go back into our script and we're going to start something a little bit different than we're used to. So for interact scripts, instead of the script itself, we have things called steps. So we're going to type in steps. Uh, we need to make sure there's only two spaces between everything we do. For example, one, space, space, two, space, uh, three. I don't know why it keeps going back to the beginning like that. It's kind of bothering me a little bit, but it's fine. Uh, so yeah, you can see here, uh, as I minimize it, it means it belongs to the parent above. So that's, you know, 
a pretty big deal. Make sure you don't have like one space or three spaces as this will mess up the file. It is strictly two or four. You cannot have one or three, five, whatever odd number. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get back to our script. So we're gonna double space this and we're gonna do it again because it has to be two after the word steps. Next, we're gonna discuss a couple of triggers. Why does it keep going back to the beginning like that? That's so strange. Anyway, okay, so again, make sure it's doubled, one, two. Okay, so we have click triggers and we have chat triggers trigger. Generally, you're always going to want to start with a click trigger because this just means all we have to do is right click our NPC and they will start the script for us. So what we're going to do, we're going to type in uh, space space script. Why does it keep going back? That's actually driving me crazy. <clears throat> okay, script narrate. And then uh, we're going to type hello player.name. Okay, so we're going to put a comment here. And I, I don't know, I'd like to be able to figure out what's going on here. I'll have to figure that out after the video. But anyway, so we're going to reload by typing ex reload. Okay, so when we right click him, actually before we right click him, I forgot to do what we need to do. This is important. So uh, if you made another NPC, you're going to want to go up to your original NPC and type in NPC select. I already have him selected because I have no other NPCs that I created. And we're going to type in NPC dash dash assign, or wait, sorry, assignment, no dashes yet. Now dash dash set. And we called it first interact assignment. Okay, now that we're reloaded, we're going to right click him. And he says, hello, mushroom status. Hello, mushroom status. So now that we got that going, let's talk about chat triggers, the other kind of script trigger that we have in Denizen. So what we can do is it's going to work a little bit differently. Um, you can have multiple chat triggers for the same step in a script. However, we need to add numbers to this one, just like we did up here. We're going to type trigger, not tigger, trigger. This isn't Winnie the Pooh. Okay, so trigger uh, forward slash hello. And then we're going to go to our script. Script narrate hello player.name. Okay. So now that we got that all typed out, we're gonna save and we're gonna EX reload. Now, if we're looking at our NPC and we type in hello, it says hello mushroom status. Now, if you wanna do it in a more formal way, you can type chat instead of narrate and we will get this effect. Hello, mushroom status to you. Hello, mushroom status. Okay. So there's one thing that I'm gonna take a quick peek at on my other file, cause I can't remember how it works, but it can be very, very helpful. So what it's called is hide trigger message. And we're gonna wanna throw it right after our trigger. So we're gonna go all the way out here. We're gonna type hide trigger message, true. Okay, so now we do that if we reload and we say hello, you can see it's no longer saying you to your NPC hello, it's just saying them saying it back. Okay, that's fantastic. Now, um, we're gonna talk about going to a different step. So what we're gonna do is in both of these, we're gonna type in a thing here called zap, which means, uh, it, zap means you're gonna go to the next or previous step in a script. So zap two. And zap two. Okay, so now that we got that, we need to add our next step. So one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six. And here we, you can generally have chat triggers. Um, if you're having interact scripts, it's almost always best to. A lot of scripts, uh, well, 
A lot of scripts will generally have an interact and have something like this, but then they'll just start running commands on their own rather than having a full on, you know, like narrative scene going on. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in uh, chat trigger. Uh, we need to add an one, a one again. Okay. Trigger. Uh, we'll say we'll say hi this time as one script. Oops, I don't know why I put that there. Okay, script, and then chat. Hey, okay. Now that we got that out of the way, we are going to type in, um, we're gonna type zap one. This is gonna reset our script and take us all the way back to the beginning. I always, always recommend this because uh, it's easy to get lost in your script. There can be times where like, if this was a chat trigger and I clicked on him and I didn't have zap one set and I came back and clicked on him and nothing was happening, I wouldn't know what is going on. And I, you know, obviously I want to know what's going on. So every time you start writing more steps, make sure you add a zap function, which takes it back to step one for the sake of debugging. Of course, if we have like a five step script, you can make it go to like step two or step three. But for this tutorial, we are just going to make it go to step one. Okay, so for example, now we can do two uh, trigger. Goodbye. Okay, script, and we're gonna type in chat. See you around. All right, so we're gonna reload. Actually, no, we're not. We're gonna type zap one first, so that way we don't accidentally, you know, forget where we're at. Okay, we're gonna save. Now we're gonna reload. Okay, so we can either right, we can either right-click them, or we can say hello to them. Both will take us to the next step. So we're gonna just right click. Hello Mushroom status. Okay, so now we know we're down here because we know that we made him say that up here in the first half of the script. So now our options are to say hi or say goodbye. Both will take us back to the beginning, but you know what, it's just easy to remember that way. So if we type goodbye, he will say, see you around. You could pretty much make the script go on and on and on using the zap function here to further advance your script. Now, say what if something happens where you, um, you know, you have a player who just, they start the script, but they never finish it and they don't come back to it, but they also can't remember what they're supposed to type. Well, there's an easy solution for that. We're gonna type in something that's different now these are called proximity triggers. So proximity trigger, and we're gonna type in space space exit, and we are going to do what we've been doing, script. And here we're gonna type in, um, we're gonna type narrate chat closed. Okay, and then we're gonna go and add zap one underneath. Make sure you add this to just about every uh, every single step that you have. This will save you a lot of headache in the future if you don't know where you are and you need to get back to the beginning of your script. So, uh, well, let's go and see what that looks like. So we're gonna save, we're gonna reload. We should be at step one right now because that is where we left off. So now we're gonna save, uh, we're gonna remove his script, we're gonna reset his script. By the way, in case you're wondering how I'm getting to my chat so quickly, I'm literally pressing T and then pressing up on the arrow keys. So, 
let's see, we're right clicking, which means we're in step two because he is not responding. And if we run away, chat closed. So if we run back to him and we right click, the chat is now back at step one. So if we type hi, hey, okay. Our script ended there because here we have chat, hey, zap one. So if we right click, run away, that closed, go up, hello, run away, chat closed. This is a very helpful way to make sure your players do not end up lost in a script, unable to advance further into their, uh, their, well, story, I guess, or whatever you're deciding to do. So what we can do now is there's one more thing I want to mess with, and this is another proximity trigger. Ugh, excuse me. So what we're going to do, we are going to just, we're going to go ahead and just put a big comment down here. Uh, if you're using Notepad++ like me, you can edit multiple lines at once by holding Shift and Alt, and then just pressing down on the arrow keys. Very helpful for editing a ton of lines at once like I have. Um, so what we can do is proximity trigger. We're gonna copy this, and we're gonna get to the same spacing, and we're gonna type in Enter. And then we can just have whatever we want here. So, hey there, pal. So we type in chat, it will have that green look. You can format that in the config. Um, you do not have to stick to that green look. However, I am using default settings, so I have not exactly messed with it yet. So if we type in um, ex reload, let me get out of his radius here and walk back in. He, uh, well, you know what, it might actually be, well, he shouldn't have steps there. I don't know. But it's, maybe it's entry? I haven't really messed around with this one a lot, but it's easy to find. Um, yeah, okay, so it is entry. So as you see, we entered his radius, and he says, hey there, pal. This is a good way to just make your NPCs kind of talk at random. If they don't have anything really, you know, useful in your server, you can at least bring them to life by giving them little dialogues like that that only activate whenever a player walks in radius. Now, of course, we could be like, um, random, do random three. So we'll have, hey there, pal. Oops. Uh, what's up, buddy? And then, uh, I don't know. Get out of town. Why not? Okay, so now that we got that going on, we're gonna save EX Reload. Let's walk out of radius here. What's up, buddy? You know, there's one. There's two. Get out of town. And of course, it's entirely random. So, hey there, pal. He's just being really helpful in this tutorial, which is pretty nice. Um, of course, if you only have him having entry dialogue, you definitely don't want to have uh, exit dialogue going on too, like chat closed, as it'll look kind of weird as players walk in and out of radius and all you see is that. It's, it's a little weird. So that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. If you like this tutorial, you know, make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't joined my Discord channel, what? If you haven't joined my Discord channel, make sure to do so. There's a lot of cool stuff going on in there. My NPC here is kind of, uh, freaking me out. Okay, so now that there's only one of me again, uh, yeah, make sure to join my Discord channel. Link will be in the description below. Make sure to subscribe for more future content. Thank you guys so much for watching. Class dismissed.